Hello everyone, once again welcome to Let's Be Foodie Cooking channel. Today I'll share a very simple appetizer that is Szechuan potato. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Let's get started. I have already peeled the potatoes and cut into thick wedges and I have parboiled the potatoes for 6 minutes in hot boiling water with 1 teaspoon salt. Now add about 1 tablespoon cornstarch, little bit of soya sauce, not much, mix everything, mix everything well together so they are nicely coated from all the sides. Once oil is hot, gently add potato wedges. Frying this on medium high heat and you have to fry until you get nice light golden color on the wedges. This won't take much time in frying because the potatoes are already 70% cooked from inside. So we just need light brown color from outside for the crispiness. Take out in a plate with paper towel. Heat oil in a pan. Once oil is hot, add broken chili. Add some chopped onion. Give it a quick stir. Add some chopped bell pepper. Some chopped celery. Stir it. Keep stirring for a minute or so. I'll add some chopped spring onion. Quickly stir it. We just want vegetables to have a glossy texture. You don't have to really cook it for long. Simply add fried veggies. Mix everything together. Sprinkle salt to taste. Mix it. Making Szechuan potato is really easy if you have already prepared your Szechuan sauce. I am adding about 1 tablespoon Szechuan sauce because it's really hot. And I have already posted Szechuan sauce recipe. Mix everything together. Very nice aroma is coming from the Szechuan sauce. Just sprinkle some water. So that doesn't stick. If you want to make little curry, you can add more water. Now I'll add some corn flour mixture. I will be adding a little bit of tomato ketchup as well. This gives a very nice little sweet flavor to it. Just mix it. Turn off the stove and sprinkle some spring onion. Take out in a plate, sprinkle some spring onion and toasted sesame seeds. And it's ready to be served. Give a try to this recipe and let us know how it turned out for you by putting your comments below. If you like this recipe, share it. Hit like and subscribe today to Let's Be Foodie if you haven't yet. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much I do. Try out my other great recipes too. If you like my recipe, subscribe today. It's free. You can also follow Let's Be Foodie on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter and Pinterest. Thanks for watching.